Having a defined Giga Chat jawline is seen as attractive. But do you have to be born with it, or can you actually train this? How models get sharp jawlines? I've always wanted to have a sharp jawline. So what can we do about it? Can you even do something about have it? Have you ever glanced over at the side of someone's face of the most beautifully perfect side profile in jawline? How about this? Look at my jawline. If this uh, isn't perfection, I don't know. How did they achieve that? Why do they have that and I don't? Let me explain something to y'all. Models don't have the sharp jawline because they are models. They are models because they have the sharp jawline. That's true. Partly true, yeah. If I see someone with a defined jawline, I don't think, how did he got there? It's just, he won the genetic lottery. And that's the question. Is it just genetics or... Can we do something about it? Obviously there's muscle there, so we can train it, but to what extent? It contributes a lot to your overall beauty. That's generally what a lot of people say, like having a really defined jawline, like the more defined, the more Giga Chat like, the better. I've seen some pictures of people that have like insane jaw muscles. I'm I like, don't bite me. So the jawline basically has two different dimensions. One of them is from the side, this is basically your side profile. So if somebody has a nice 90 degree angle where their jaw meets their neck. How's my side profile? <laughs> what? <laughs> and their chin is in line with their nose, which is in line with their forehead. This to this, through, you have a perfect face. The same goes for you, isn't it for everyone? Maybe not, maybe, I think mean, there are some people that have like a sucked in jaw. And then there's front on, where they have width of their jawline. Okay. You have stretchy skin. skin. Yeah, I used to be very fat. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have a narrow mandible where these masseter muscles... Yeah, but this guy still looks like he has a very muscular jaw. This is the shape of his face. It's not yes. really... like He's already very defined. It makes it look like they have a nice jawline. That's kind of what I have and what I've built this YouTube channel around. This is Brett Maverick. The jawline guy. He's the jawline guy. He has a pretty good jaw. He has a good jaw. Yeah, he has a very he has good a pretty sexy jawline. So yeah. there's basically three main factors that decide your jawline in that regards. First being your body fat percentage. This is an insane difference. Yes. The less fat you have over here, the more you will see the structure and the more of a defined jawline you will have. That's some of the most notable things when people lose like a lot of weight. And basically everyone will look more handsome because of that. Some people will have a bit loose skin, so they might look a little bit older actually. So first step, getting that body fat percentage under control and under at least 20% to reveal the bone under structure 20%. underneath. So above 20% body fat, you're hiding a lot of your facial structure and the lower you go, the more you will reveal. Number two is your genetic predisposition skeletons from thousands of years ago. They all had great facial structure and they had great teeth. Over time, we've adapted, we've eaten foods that are less hard and take less work, so you're not stimulating uh, and maintaining your jaw. Your face gets softer and kind of gets this melting look. You get this nerd neck going on. Is this true? It might be. It could be. It, I, 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 I believe him. I, I actually think there is some truth in that. The third factor might not be hard to guess. Yes, it is habit. Posture makes a lot of sense because instead of a posture like this, a bit sucked in, you just chin high, chin up, good posture, and you actually see the jawline a lot more. The hyoid bone. This is the bone that lies right here underneath your tongue. Oh. Some people are genetically gifted where their hyoid is higher placed within their neck. People like myself, our hyoid is actually lower, unfortunately, so your natural state, if you're just sitting there not, not activating any muscles, it's gonna look a little bit more sloping. You have to make conscious effort giving you that more nice, tight, right angle. Oh, and this damn. is actually a method Just called posture. mewing. Fun story, I actually tried this once, one day, and then I quit because it was way too much effort to focus on the entire day. But you have to do it the entire yeah, day. Yeah, I watched a video of some, some guy that had a transformation of just mewing. I was like, that's pretty impressive. I'm going to try it. And then I tried it one day. I was like, yo, this sucks. This method of keeping your tongue pressed up against the roof of your mouth at all times. Hopefully that's focused right there, but you can see the tongue is pressed firmly up against the roof of the mouth, especially in the back third region here, because that's what's going to pull in the back of your tongue up towards the center, giving you that tight angle. I was way too aware of where my tongue was, mm -hmm. and it was at the bottom, actually, and I still had to go up. So it wasn't naturally there. And I understand that if you obviously push to the ceiling of your, your mouth, then 
you will probably push some stuff up like it also brings your your jawline a bit more forward if you do it but does it train anything or is it just for posture you activate more muscles in your your jaw but and it looks better because of the posture so you have yes. to to look like that you always have to do that yes no i'm never doing that. but not only that if you start this at a young enough age before puberty preferably then you're actually going to condition condition your facial structure to grow upwards this seems like a real difference though this seems like this is not only just posture i was trying mewing for more than two months my breathing improves my head posture improves my jawline improving 3,000 likes there's a lot of people being positive I, I feel like I'm a bit skeptical but there's a lot of proof a lot of yes. people happy with it so it, it's, it will work but why I stopped doing jawline exercises and you should too I Brett Maverick the godfather of jawline advice stopped doing jawline exercises Wow! and I did it for two main reasons which I'm gonna share with you guys and two. then later on I'm also gonna share a third reason why you in particular might want to consider not doing any more jawline exercises the first reason that I stopped was to slow down my wrinkling but I mean just having the mewing or like the posture that doesn't wrinkle anything the more facial expressions you do those actually get drawn on your face in the form of of wrinkles and lines. The next reason is I just didn't find it being effective enough for my time. You know, I invested a lot of time into it and I didn't feel as much activation and stimulation. Maybe you should progressive overload. <laughs> Wait, you, should, you just hang weights. Oh, now that's not to say that it doesn't work. Most professionals do agree. Do jawline exercises actually work? They definitely okay. help because the tightness in the jawline is somewhat is due to the muscle strength. And the muscles, especially at the corners of the jaw, if you exercise them and bulk them up a little bit, will tighten and pull the jawline back. What I just found in my particular case, it wasn't effective enough. I think for him, it wasn't effective anymore because he already did so much to improve his jawline. I think it's just sort of, he hit a plateau. But for me, I found that the most important thing is just mewing, keeping that tongue up and chewing lots of gum. You know, you also have very hard gum that is 10 times harder than normal gum. I have it at home. Yeah? I have it, I bought it. But you never use it. It tastes like tree. The danger of TMJ or bruxism or some type of jaw joint problem. A lot of people have TMJ from some sort of injury or overusing their jaw. When the jaw clicks, clicks. or something yes. like that. But I guess you first have to train in order to overtrain. Yeah, or, or just eat a lot. There's a couple little quick tests you can do. First one, we just call the thumb test. Put it in there. Open and close your jaw. Do you have any clicking? No, no clicking. I always have click. I already have clicking here on the left always. For this, I just call it the fingertips test. You just make a big open mouth. What is he gonna do? Take your fingers like this and try to get at least three fingers in there. That's four. Who? Oh. That's four. If you can get three fingers in there without issue, no pain, no clicking, popping, then you're probably fine to continue doing these jawline exercises and whatnot. But if you feel pain, Oh, I'm so, so are you convinced? I want to give it a try. Yeah, me too. I think we should. Yeah, we should. Let us know down below. So I think these exercises will improve your jawline. Yeah, and if you want to improve your focus and productivity, then make sure you check out this video right here. Subscribe to the link and hit that bell.